Saturday, as many Southwest Louisiana residents look forward to E-Recycle Day each year. Brent Hoffbauer is back with me uh, from Sitgo to talk about E-Recycle Day. And uh, how many years has this been now, Brent? Fifteen years. Fifteen years. All right. <laughs> you have brought a, a typical example of what people have in their garages or up in their shelves that need to be thrown needs to be thrown away. Huh? Right. Right. This is an old TV radio. No longer useful. You can't pick anything up because it's it's analog, yeah. Right. But it's a good example of some of the things that we have in our uh, in our uh, homes that people are saying, you know, one of these days I want to get rid of this, but I don't want to throw it out in the regular trash. Right, right. right. We're collecting electronics, old TVs, cell phones, uh, monitors. You know, we have a lot of folks, everybody gets a new TV every week. Sure. We collect them and recycle them. Okay. There's a lot of good material in here, glasses and plastics and metals that we yeah. can recycle. And a lot of people ask about it. These, these devices are not illegal to throw into the regular trash cycle but right. in this case y'all take it and actually recycle them. That's correct we sure do you know everybody has the TV that they get uh, for mm -hmm. Christmas and they need a place to recycle it or, mm -hmm. or get rid of it and they don't want to throw it in the general garbage right. and this is a great way to keep it out of our landfills. Computer terminals things Computer like that. Computer terminals right. What's some other devices that you will be taking? We do take uh, light bulbs the mm -hmm. little spiral light bulbs oh, yeah. uh, fluorescent light bulbs from your house we do recycle those too and dispose of mercury containing items like mm -hmm. old thermometers and stuff we take those items um, items we don't take mm -hmm. anything electronic we will but items we don't take are appliances from the house okay. and medical devices and uh, things of that sort yeah sometimes they have special special things in right. them that, that, that don't go through the regular stream right? right right all right now if you do have something that can't be taken uh, obviously, do you will they you'll let them know ahead oh, of time, yes. right? We'll have plenty of volunteers at okay. E-Recycle Day as every year, and just come through and we'll check the items and make sure they're recyclable, and we'll take them. Okay, very good. Uh, let's talk about where each year you kind of rotate between east and west on the parish, right? Correct. And this year we're in Sulphur at the West Calarina parking lot. Okay. All right. And Please come down the road between Steins and Tractor Supply. That'll be the entrance and come down the West Calarina parking lot and we'll help you out with recycling your electronics. Okay. All right. That's this Saturday. Tell us the times, Brent. 8 a.m. to 11. 8 to 11 a.m. So is there, does the line move pretty fast? Is there a long line or is it best to get there early it's or best wait? best to get there early. Yeah. It is. We, we have a tremendous amount of turnout for it. So we try to process everybody as fast as we can. But the sooner mm -hmm. you can get there, the better. All right, again, uh, Sitco's E-Recycle Day coming up this Saturday, uh, the time 8 to 11 a.m. It'll be at the West Cal Arena in Sulphur. That's just south of uh, Interstate 10 off Highway 27. I think they still call it, no, it's some other number now, Hackberry Highway. How about that? And uh, just turn in there by Stein, and you'll see where all the lines are. Brent, how many volunteers do you all have each year? Wow, we get a tremendous amount of volunteers, yeah. 50, 60, 70 volunteers. And this year, it looks like the weather's going to be great, a little cool. Super, yeah. So we'll have plenty of folks there to help you out. Less sweat. Okay. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Brent, for coming in. Thank you. All right. Still